Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 46, Power Apps Portals Maker Experience. As part of the shift from Dynamics 365 Portals to Power Apps Portals, Microsoft has been significantly investing in a new authoring experience. In this tip, I'll provide a high-level overview of this new Maker experience. While the traditional methods of content authoring still exist, those being via the model-driven app or the front-side editing experience, the goal of the new Maker experience is to provide a low-code, no-code interface to build portals. Those of you familiar with Canvas apps will probably notice some similarities, as it appears that this is where a lot of the inspiration has come from for the new Portals Maker experience. To access the new Maker experience, Find your portal app in make.powerapps.com and click the edit button found by clicking on the ellipsis. Once loaded, you'll see a preview of your portal with the ability to directly edit content in line. This is different from the traditional front side editing experience where you'd click an edit button that would pop open a separate editor. While you can't do everything in this new maker experience, it is very much a work in progress. Some of the things that you can do include creating new pages, editing existing pages, editing page templates, editing CSS theme files, and updating content snippets. In subsequent tips, I'm going to dive deeper into these capabilities. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 46 on the Power Apps Portals Maker experience useful.